my gosh. We got one, we got one, we got one. That's a big fish. Oh my god. Alright y'all, so I did film an intro for this video, but the mic wasn't plugged in and the audio was blown out. So what we're doing is, I actually was going to go in my kayak, um, but Fisher gave me a call. He got this new 14 foot aluminum boat. He wanted to go test her out, give her a good sea trial out there. So being so glassy, I was all for it. We loaded the boat up, put some dive gear in there as well as some fishing gear. I didn't really know if we are going to be able to dive just with concerns of visibility this time of year. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out there and fish around a little bit, look for some ling, because I did catch one on the jetty a few weeks ago, so I have high hopes for that. And then if the water allows us, we're gonna hop in and do some diving. Love the smell of sweet oil. Real tough. Ooh, look at this spade fish up here. Oh yeah, the water is, uh... honestly, it's not, I mean, I can see down a little bit, but it's, uh, Spooky color. There's so many spade fish. Uh, we're gonna build dance it up here on the front, I guess. First toss of the morn. Come on, Ling. That is the goal. That is the prize today. Oh my gosh, Ling! Got him! Oh my gosh! He's going to, oh my gosh, that Ling followed the jig all the way up. It's not that big. Oh boy! That Ling followed the jig up and slurped it right at the boat, baby. Oh my goodness. That is unreal, Art. He's right here. Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh baby! Oh my goodness! Ain't that something else? Oh baby! That's the way it ain't legal though. No, no, we're gonna get this girl unhooked. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. You have to look through the eyes. You don't have to though. She's in the car. Alright, this girl is still green. Alright, she's coming. Jeez, this girl is green. Look at all the spade fish. Alright, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do this here. There she goes, she's gone. All right, man, ain't that something else. That was my second ling of the year, and man, that was awesome. I think that was like my first cast, first drop down, jigged it up. I saw the ling follow it up. It was, everything was perfect, man. Couldn't have asked for a better start to the day. Actually, you know, it, if it was a big ling, that would have been absolutely, that would have been awesome, but pretty sick. I'm gonna drop the jig down again, and hopefully we can get on another. There we go. All right, rig numero dos. Catch us on the next episode of Dumb and Dumber, or if y'all remember that show, Dead or Alive. Yeah, that's us. Looks juicy green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, so here's the verdict. We're gonna jig a little bit longer, see if we can pull out a ling. And if not, 
I think I'm gonna hop in there because there is some absolute toad sheep's head, as well as trigger fish. So there could be some other stuff, maybe some snapper. I don't know how good the water clarity is gonna be underwater. I can see a little bit above the surface, but usually when you hop in, it's not as great. I think I'll be able to shoot a fish if I do get in, um, if I just stay on the rig legs. So that's what we're gonna do. y'all there are giant sheep's head everywhere but before we plug a few more i want to go give the rig a good look and see if there's any other fish that i'd prefer to shoot but man this is very tempting i'm telling y'all there are some giants in here Oh, big one. Dude, hundreds giant sheep's head. It is amazing. It's beautiful, dude. Dude, I was gonna pass them because I saw a lot of big ones. But then I saw that guy a little bit deeper. Right, like, sir. Yep. Well, couldn't couldn't contain myself there. I did not ever dream of this. Guess what I just shot? A black Margate. <laughs> really clear. Look at that. That looks weird now that I look at it. That's a toad, those taste good too. They look like a drum and a sheep's head. I know, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, is that a drum? Check that out. Black Margate. We're in the dirt water of the Gulf of Mexico and man, that's a pretty fish. It looks like, look at the back end. That thing looks like a sheep's head. And then it just turns into a black He's Margate. got like a, a humped dorsal fin. Yeah. He's a cool fish. These things are supposed to be in Florida, right? Yeah, yeah, they're like a reef fish, but I guess enough of them wander out here because of the Gulf Stream, who knows? That's pretty cool. So we got this, and then I'm just gonna hold one up. So you guys saw there are tons and tons of these guys. <laughs> That's Mondo right there. Look at that, gnarly spines on its back. Look at that tail too. That's an old fish right there. Been nibbled up by all his buddies. That's a good sheep said. They're just so thick in there. And uh, I'll probably only shoot this one, but that'll be a good feed right there. Look at the chompers too. All right, well anyhow, that's what we got. Uh, as you guys can see, 
We can probably shoot as many sheep's head as we want, but uh, I don't think I'm wanting. To, I don't think I'm wanting to do that. So, all right, y'all. Well, we are gonna move rigs. This one just got sheep's head. It's been fun. I wasn't expecting that. The water's real, real murky on the surface. It's still murky down there, but at about 30 feet, it kind of opened up and it was pretty clear. I mean, clear by my standards. Some might question that. You know, this is this is pretty dirty water, but. It's good to see, especially this early in the year. Usually I'm only diving in the summertime, but it's, what, April? It's April now, and we got diveable water, so. Anyhow, we're gonna move rigs and see if we can find maybe something else, maybe some snapper, I don't know. Let's do it. Whoa! Oh my gosh, big Jack Crevel. Holy, oh my gosh, dude, that was a mondo. He came up right after my jig. Oh my goodness. That was a big one. All right, all right, so I've been casting around a little bit. The only action I've seen is that Jack falling up my jig, so have not had anything since then. Fisher's up here. Boat flipping sheep's head 15 feet in the air, so it's all good. Catching them on mullets, that's, I'm actually, I mean, I'm not really surprised we're offshore. Inshore at the jetties, probably not something that you'd, you'd be able to do, but anyhow, I'm getting pretty bored up here in the boat. So, you know what that means. We're gonna get back in the water and see maybe if there's something else besides the sheep's head. I don't think I'm gonna shoot another sheep's head, um, but I wanna see if there's snapper, pompano, maybe another margate, and maybe anything else that tastes good. So, I guess we're gonna get her back on. Get all hot and steamy in the boat and get in there, get in the murk.
yeah. Nothing like a juicy mangrove snapper. That's a good one too. That's probably one of the better ones I've seen. Really, really, look how vibrant the colors are. That is amazing. Super red. That's gonna taste real good. I'll tell you what, the water is chilly over here. Let's bring this fish. All right, y'all, we'll check that out. That's not a bad mangrove snapper. Probably one of the better ones I've seen. Definitely the biggest one on that dive. I was just being real patient with her. Wasn't making any sudden movements and she presented the shot. All right, well, I think this just made my day, y'all. Man, look at this fish compared to me. That's not a bad snapper. It's definitely pretty early in the year. It's definitely pretty early in the year for these fish as well. I mean, we're, in, we're talking early April right now, so. Oh, I can't wait to eat this fish. <laughs> Beautiful mangrove snapper. These are the fish that we shoot in the summertime. If you guys haven't checked out my videos where I come out here diving in the summer, we get a lot of mangrove snapper just like this, but a lot, a lot bigger. So if you haven't seen those, go check them out. It's real good though to get a good little fix here of a mangrove snapper early in the year before summer. Look at those colors. Awesome fish. It's one of the best tasting fish in the sea right there. Doesn't get much better than that, man. All right, well, that's about all she wrote. We're gonna haul back in. We gotta run probably six miles or so. And then I'm gonna get home and cook up this mango snap for dinner. probably tell this is gonna be way too much for me. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cook the mango snapper and the black margate. I've never eaten a black margate before. I don't even know that much about them except they're supposed to be in Florida. They're not supposed to be in Texas. Apparently they're like some sort of reef fish. They're like hard structured bottom, but here, I, don't, I mean, I guess the oil rigs kind of fit that habitat, but our, our bottom's pretty mushy, so I don't know, pretty cool. I've seen them before. Um, at the rigs, I just I didn't know what they were, so I didn't shoot them. But this time, we finally got one. Uh, whenever I pulled it out of the water, it looked a lot like a sheep's head. The back half of the fish looked a lot like a sheep's head, but it was it was clearly not a sheep's head, obviously. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna package up the sheep's head safe for later. I guess you can call this our quarantine grocery store run. Got a good mess of meat right there. I'm just gonna kind of um, wing this like I usually do. I'm just gonna do a drizzle. Just enough so this meat doesn't really stick. All right, it's pretty dry. That right there, I believe, is a mangrove piece. This is mangrove. I'm gonna season them, flip them over, season them on the other side, and then, no, why don't we put this All right, we got it preheating, and like I said, we're gonna season both sides real quick. All right, what seasoning should we go for? We got fajita, I don't know. Actually smells pretty good. We're gonna hold that off to the side. Woo! Nah, not the fish. You know what? Oh yeah, it's definitely moved. We're just gonna do a light drizzle. And then we're probably gonna put a little butter in there and some salt. I like to cut up little slivers of butter and then just toss them on top of the meat. Just so when it starts cooking, the butter just melts and soaks itself down into the meat. You know what, I don't have any tin foil, so we're just gonna put her on mean like that. See me. All right. Official black margate taste test. That came off. There we go. 
That's super flaky. What tongs just eat it? Whoa, there's a scale. That's I think I'm pretty sure that's a black market, yeah. Oh bloodline right there. If that's a black market, then that's pretty dang good. Wow. I mean, I was kind of expecting it to be really good, but after shooting it and seeing how it, like, it looked just like a sheep's head, I thought it was, oh, it's just gonna be a sheep's head. As far as flavor goes, more scales. I'm actually surprised. Sheep's head is really good also. And I mean, this fish was super fresh, but being that this fish is native to Florida, I think it's native, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but um, should taste pretty good, right? Yeah, that's definitely some good meat.